Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. The Archbishop of Enugu Province and Bishop of Enugu Dikis Anglican Communion Church of Nigeria, Most Reverend Emmanuel Chukuma, has said that we must make the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Ashua Dubola Ahmed Tenubu, to obey the law by releasing the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Maazi Oindu and Amdekano. Meanwhile, the Oanis in the good chief has asked Indibo not to despair over the current situation of the region, assuring that things will soon turn around for better. The Archbishop of Enugu Province and the Bishop of Enugu Dikis Anglican Communion Church of Nigeria, Anglican Most Reverend Emmanuel Chukuma, has called on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in person of Ashua Jubala Metunubu and his government, to release Mazi Oindunam the Kano to the Oanis in the Bo worldwide led by Chief Emmanuel Wayam. Mazi Oindunam the Kano, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, he has been detained by the Department of State Services DSS since June 2021, despite court's judgment and United Nations communication ordering his release. However, speaking at the Cathedral Church of, Go- of Good Shepherd, during a Thanksgiving service to mark the commencement of the 2023 Igbo Day celebration, which will take place at Mike Opera Square Independence Layout Enugu on Friday, the 29th of September 2023, the cleric said that without the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Oyindu in Amdekano, peace efforts in the southwest of in the southeast may be futile. He said we must make Ashwa Dubola Metunbo obey the rule of law. Mazi Oindu Namdekanu must be released. They should stop deceiving themselves. Let them release Mazi Oindu Namdekanu to Ohanis in the book. Let them release him to you and see what will happen. Thank God we are overcoming sit at home on Mondays. Peter Umba of Enugu State is trying, insisting that Mondays must not be wasted. Allah Ibu must not be wasted. Please, all of you should cooperate. Let us revive the economy of the Southeast. Chukuma, however, urged all Igbo people to support Iwanyamu's leadership of one is in the book, explaining that his choice was unanimous. Meanwhile, the one is a chief has asked Igbo not to despair over the current situation of the region, assuring that things will soon turn around for better. Iwanya, who attended the church service alongside Oga Igbo and one is in the book leaders, said Igbo people have the potential to be great again, noting that his administration was doing everything possible to put it to work. The President General of the Oanese Indibo, Chief Emmanuel Wanyao, who also commended the Governor of the five Southeast states for their support for him as the Oanese Indibo Worldwide President General since his assumption of office as President General of Oanese Indibo and assured that with such support, and that of other Igbo leaders, including Idibu in the diaspora, Igbo people in the Federal Republic of Nigeria and all the Southeast region of Nigeria would soon regain greatness. Mazi Oyendo Enambekano, who is a British Nigerian political act- activist who advocates for the secession and independence of Biafra from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, which he founded in 2014. The main aim of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP is to restore the different separate states of Biafra, which existed in the Nigerian Eastern Region during the Nigerian Civil War of 1967-1970. As a director of a United Kingdom registered radio station named Radio Biafra, Kano propagated Biafran separatism he was arrested on treason charges in Lagos, Nigeria on the 14th of August, October 2015 and was detained for more than a year despite various court orders that ruled for his release. When in court, Kano appeared regularly wearing a Jewish prayer shawl and head covering. He said in court that he believes in Judaism and considers himself a Jew. He had led his Biafran people to various Jewish prayers and religious observation on different occasions. On the 28th of April 2017, Kano was released from prison on bail 
After jumping bin and fleeing abroad, he played a major role in the insurgency in the southeastern. Nigerian security forces attempted to squash the indigenous people of Biafra's armed wing, the Eastern Security Network, which culminated in a low-level conflict in early 2021. Despite the fact, despite the fighting, Mazu and the Colonel maintained that indigenous people of Biafra was interested in a peaceful solution and achieving Biafra independence without violence or arm. In June 2021, he was arrested by Interpol and handed over to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In, tw- in December 2020, Mazu Indonam Dukano had Mazu Indonam Dukano announced that the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP had organized the Eastern Security Network ESN, which was supposed to defend southeastern Nigerians from bandits and armed Fulani elders. And the Kano later gave all the governors of southeast Nigeria 14 days to ban open grazing, threatening to deploy the Eastern Security Network to enforce a ban if the authorities did not do so. The Nigerian government regarded the formation of a non state sanctioned paramilitary organization as unacceptable and moved to suppress the group. The situation escalated in January 2021 when the Nigerian military was repelled in an attempt to expel the Eastern Security Network from Olu Imo State. Before another offensive was launched, Enamde Kanu ordered the Eastern Security Network to, wish- to withdraw to the bush temporarily, ending this confrontation. The Nigerian Army and Air Force renewed hostilities on the 18th of February by launching a military offensive against the ESN. The next day, IPOP declared that as of the 18th of February, a state of war had existed between Nigeria and Biafra. IPOP and other Biafran separatist groups consequently began to mobilize and fight the security forces across the several south- southern Nigerian states. Despite this, Kano maintained that IPOP was interested in a non-violent solution of the conflict and that ESN was supposed to fight bandits, not the Nigerian security forces. Regardless, Nigerian authorities designated IPOP as a terrorist organization and claimed that Khan was inciting violence. On the 27th of June 2021, Khan was arrested in Kenya. Khan's arrest sparked anger amongst Biafran separatists and other Nigerian supportive to his cause. The World Ibo Congress declared the arrest illegal and adoption and international gangsterism. And that will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts or your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news as I'll be bringing you more interesting news. Bye for now.